Well, we expect that the phenotype the effects on health and lifespan will be much less severe. And that's because this mutation is producing a protein that still has an amino acid in this position. And it's amino acid that you're told has very similar properties to the normal phenylalanine amino acid. So we would expect this protein to still function quite well as a transmembrane regulator. And so the phenotype would be much less severe. So what have we done? We spent the whole lecture just thinking about the diversity of mutant alleles in one gene, the cystic fibrosis transmembrane reg regulator. And we thought about phenotype in different contexts. We talked about the phenotype as messenger RNA, the phenotype as how much protein was produced, the phenotype as fertility, and the phenotype as lifespan. And we could have talked about a lot of other aspects of um, phenotype that are caused by changes in CFTR as well. For instance, your ability to digest your food is very dependent on the function of this protein. So we used phenotype in different meanings to refer to different aspects of the whole organism. Now coming up next, we're going to take the big step to, from thinking about homozygous genotypes to thinking about heterozygous genotypes and the effects that they have on phenotype. I hope to see you there.